Welcome to the channel and for those of you who are new to the channel i want to say thank you so much i really appreciate you stopping by and for those who are returning hey girl oh boy and i'm coming to you with another one of my units diys projects so you're gonna see more on how i created this gorgeous for ready unit right here then please continue to watch so i purchased some hair from ebony line i purchased four packs of outre expressions twisted up springy afro twist it's pre-separated and pre-fluffed perfect for spring twist and bomb twist and it is heat safe now out of all of the packs of hair that i purchased this is the last pack that i have left this, this is as much as i have left it comes with about 30 strands per pack which is a huge plus when you're trying to save money and i believe it's about ten dollars or less for the packs depending on where you go if you're lucky, local beauty supply or online so i purchased like i said four packs from every line and also ended up purchasing one pack from my local beauty supply store which was a 2t 1b 30. i'm going to probably pop in every now and then to tell you what i'm doing or the supplies that i'm using and for most part it's going to be a watch and learn so let's get into this video first things you're going to need some things are optional and some things are needed the optional item will be the sewing machine now you're going to need a dome cap you're going to need your braiding hair or whatever hair you of your choice a frontal or closure of your choice and or a crochet needle depending on how the method you're going to apply the hair needle thread hair clips t-pins and some kind of curl cream or twist cream and of course your wig block and wig stand if there's anything I left out, I'll also leave that in the description box. So that's where it'll be. The first you want to do is place your cap on your wig block and prepare to install the frontal. You're going to want to clip or braid the hair out of the way so it's easier to sew down the frontal. This next step is completely optional, but I went ahead using my sewing machine and sewed down the wig combs at the back of the wig along with my adjustable strap and as well as stitching down the frontal further to secure it. Now using some jam, I pre-twisted the hair to make the job a little easier. Now that the pre-twists are done and the cap is fully constructed, it's time to do the install. Here are all the tools you'll need for the next step. Using about two and a half packs for the back of the unit. Once you pre-twist the hair, you can either thread the hair, knot it, and then twist, or you can just sew on a twist that you pre-twisted, if that makes sense. Now, in this situation, you want to lay the hair in a brick laying motion. You want to skip every other one, and then when you go back to the top, whichever one you skip, in that space, you want to add a braid. So it's like a brick laying method. So that way, it closes up the hair without seeing so much of the scalp, and it gives you that fullness that you need without putting too much hair in the wig. Now, once you complete the back of the cap, then you want to go ahead and work your way to the front, sectioning the hair and twisting the hair. You can also pre-section the hair by cone rolling the hair into sections, and then as you're going working your way up to each twist make subsections to make it go faster and so that you're not trying to figure out the parting situation that way you see your parts before you twist the hair you also want to braid down your edges for your baby hairs just leave just a little bit out so that you can have your baby hair <music> Once you're completely done with twisting, you want to take down the baby hairs and to prep them for customization. not heavy it sits really well and i absolutely love the outcome if you're looking at the cap and you're like hold on you're scratching your head i know this mannequin head is pink how does it look like it has scalp well that's my secret for part two so this is going to be a two-part video so if you want to see how i got this new wear proof fake scalp method that I've been seeing all over social media, then you want to check out the next review. So I hope you guys enjoyed that DIY project of mine. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up. Here we have the 350 and that's what it's looking like. And then over here we have 2T1B30, which I do like. And this is what the twist pattern is looking like. And here is my scalpage. So I can part this anywhere and you'll get scalp. Boom, boom, boom. to see how I achieved the scalp method where you can throw away that ball cap method and you can slay every day without that extra weight and it's so breathable and hypoallergenic. So let me give you that 360 so obviously the front. guys that concludes this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys learned something over flies and make your own wig i would love to hear about your wigs you made and come back and slay some more with me let me know how you feel about this particular diy let me know in the comment section i'll be sure to get back to you i'll leave all the information and link to purchase and the supplies down in the description box so don't forget to check that out like subscribe comment and share and if you want to stay up to date with me please check out my social media annette beauty on instagram and visionary beauty that's my group on facebook and i hope to see you guys over there as always stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty till next time Bye. If you think we gon' cower and be scared Think I won't keep marching with my fists up in the air